So good morning guys, uh, nice and uh, warm Sunday afternoon. I'm in Glenbower Woods and um, this, uh, I have never visited this place. This is in East Cork, very close to um, uh, Yall. It's a kind of a seaside town in uh, County Cork where a lot of Irish people uh, used to go on. Uh, there's a five kilometer beach, just probably about 10, 15 minutes away from here, on the way from Cork to Waterford. So um, <coughs> Waterford would be another half an hour, I would say, from here. But um, this wood is located in the village of Kilia, and why it is special, because it was, um, uh, for a long time, it was um, in in the it was owned by one family, the Capel family, and they've done a lot of work here, and they even did um, a lake. So the lake was drained now, but there is a river um, running through the lake, and it's um, called Disor River. This is how you spell it. Can you see it? Disor. So D I S S O U R. So. Um, there's also a mill, an old mill building right at the start and um, I might take a picture of it or shot later. Popular place again for dog walkers, there's a car park here, a few runners there and it seems, there's a picnic table if you want, but it seems like uh, there's also a lot of ornaments and um, statues here. So I would imagine it's a uh, popular place for fishing as well, so about 32 acres and um, since 1933 it's looked after by the Department of Forestry. Um, I didn't actually, I have never been to food that was owned by family, so it's, this is quite impressive. So um, yeah, centuries <laughs> owned by family. Let's go and see it. So. so okay, wood is the wood, right guys? So um, quite peaceful here. I'm not gonna do a huge amount of footage here. The river is down below and um, you can see it's running and it's a nice and pleasant sound. And then we've been told there's a couple of bridges that she can sort of cross and there's an upper and lower path so currently I'm on the lower path and then hopefully I can cross the bridge and come back via the upper path. But uh, I love woods, you know, it makes a nice uh, change. We might even call into Yol, the seaside place today, um, depending on the weather. But uh, there you are. I don't know. Yeah, you could, I'd say you can fish here, because I saw some uh, signs, but um, I'm not sure what you get. Usually it's uh, salmon or trout or mackerel in Ireland and places like that but I keep um, getting surprised by how many rivers I think the most famous one is River Lee but um, Cork obviously has <laughs> black water of course the river is um, also popular but uh, not the only one so stay with me Elena from Ireland Ireland here so guys, just a few minutes into the woods and uh, we are here at our first bridge. This one is the wooden bridge, there's also a metal bridge to see and uh, everything is quite nice and there's a strong smell of wild garlic here at the moment. Um, if you are familiar with what it looks like, it just has white flowers, it looks like grass with white flowers. And um, I can't see it yet, but it's definitely here present. <laughs> so, uh, for any nature enthusiast, this place is uh, nice. And it's definitely a hidden gem. There's no signs for it whatsoever. So we actually had to ask the local person. Good job, Sunday is a church day. There's lots of people around. But basically, uh, you need to go right behind the touched cottage, which is a pub. It's called Touched and um, look out for a big old mill building and it's right behind us to find this wood. So there we go, following this open path, there is a metal bridge. It's quite small, or you know, I'm not sure it's called, no, I don't know why it's called metal, it's actually quite concrete. But uh, I think we're gonna turn around here 
there's a number of ways you can go and again 32 acres is no joke you could probably be here for a day <laughs> or two <laughs> get lost um, quite disappointing that I've never seen a brochure for this place with a map attached and uh, you know I've done a, a video in uh, Jameson Middleton distillery so um, it's it's very close uh, literally 10 minutes away and uh, I think they should have brochures for this place in the visitor center there because it's certainly not to be missed there's a nice feature probably from the 18th, 17th or 18th century um, let's say 18th and there's the river I hope you enjoyed this walk with me and uh, there's another kind of an ornament quite protected so I hope you enjoyed this walk and um, follow me on this channel subscribe for uh, more hidden gems in Ireland and uh, hope to see you soon and um, hello as usual and I hope you're well no matter where you are bye <laughs> So guys, there seems to be another small wooden bridge and uh, see I'm on an upper level walk now. You can hear the river but you can't see it from here, but it's there. Lots of birds and actually compared to other places that I visit, there are a lot of uh, people here today. Not a lot, but you know, it's about 10 I've seen so far. Which is nice, you know, that people actually use the facilities. I must say the village of Kilia is uh, quite surprisingly nice. It's a nice church. There is a couple of pubs. Um, small enough main street, but it has a few things. Like shops and stuff. And um, has a school at two playgrounds, which is for kids, you know. It's nice to see. There isn't really enough, there isn't enough of them um, around here, but uh, you know, there's a lot of GA grounds and all that, so I suppose, but for small kids, you know, who are not involved in GA, I think it's quite important to have um, playgrounds. So there's two of them in this village, which is great, and they're big, you know, they're not some little ones, little dinky ones, which they're quite uh, good sized playgrounds. And there's this wood, <laughs> which is massive. And uh, so yeah, 32 acres with the river along it. Definitely um, an attraction in this area. So guys, I really like the feel of this place because it's uh, quite open. It's not as uh, closed off with the little paths like some woods could be. So uh, today's not overly sunny, so it's really it's really a perfect day to come to the wood. Uh, place is filled with uh, little waterfalls like that. There was a lake here. I mean, I can't pinpoint exact exact location now, and um, but it was here and it was drained, unfortunately. But uh, there is. I'm looking for a metal bridge at the moment just to see and a few ornaments around just to see. Um, it's obviously related to the history of the, the Capelli family who owned the woods and um, what I also read about this place that the actual family they, they had a house here nearby somewhere but uh, the house is no longer there not even a ruin it's completely gone I think uh, I only saw drawings of it and uh, I read that they had three tennis courts in this wood so they must have loved tennis but you know i love tennis too so but i think one tennis court is enough but who knows and uh so yeah three tennis courts in this woods that's what they had and um yeah they looked after this wood pretty good i think and you know it was nice for them to leave it to us to enjoy I'm really happy here right now